The following video footage is from a recent Facebook Live event for Guide Dogs Australia, celebrating National Puppy Day. Two Guide Dog staff members, Ryan and Brenda, sit outside the edge of a ball pit wearing scrubs and sunglasses. In front of them, at their feet, are four yellow Labrador puppies playing amongst the colourful balls. There are two other Guide Dog staff members on either side of the ball pit watching the puppies as they play. After introducing themselves and the puppies playing, Ryan and Brenda stand up and walk around the enrichment area stopping to explain the various enrichment features for the puppies. As they walk, the puppies follow them along and continue to play. All right, I think we're going live now. Um, g'day everyone who's jumping straight on. We'll just wait another couple of minutes while uh, some more people join our live stream here. But um, for those of you who are here, my name's Ryan. I'm a guide dog mobility instructor here at Guide Dogs. And we're out here in the uh, northwest of Sydney this morning in Glossodia which is where our training centre is. So we have our puppies here, our older dogs here, we've got lots of our training facilities here. So quite a big bit of land here where we do our work. But today um, we're celebrating National Puppy Day, which is a pretty exciting day to be celebrating. I can certainly think of worse days to celebrate. And we're gonna show you our puppies today and, and show you around our enrichment centre. But first of all, um, I'm going to introduce uh, Brenda. Brenda is uh, one of our puppy development advisors here at Guide Dogs. She's going to be doing a bit of a tour with us this morning. We're very lucky with the weather. We thought it was going to be pouring today. Um, we had contingency plans. We we're going to be up inside a meeting room. Not half as much fun as being down here in the ball pit. So we're lucky with the weather for now anyway. But Brenda. Welcome. G'day. Hi. Happy National Puppy Day to you. Um, <laughs> you can you too. tell us a little bit about your job? Okay, so um, I've been working at Guide Dogs uh, for six years yep. um, and part of my job is to coordinate the Positive Paws program which is a program where we have local high school students come around to the Guide Dog Training Centre each week um, to help socialise our puppies to new experiences in a positive way. So that runs four days a week and currently we have four high schools that participate in that program. Yeah, it's a great program. I know it's really rewarding for the dogs and uh, for the students as well who come yep. along. Now, as adorable as Brenda is, um, <laughs> I know that's not why, you, why you've come to join us today. You want to see some puppies. So let's take a look at who we've got here. Um, we've got four little yellow Labrador puppies with us today. We've got Opal, Oak, Maisie and Oreo. I got that right, you didn't I, right. Brenda? Fantastic. <laughs> um, they're getting pretty eager to start getting around. I also mentioned um, we are going to be putting this video out in a few days. We're live now, so we're going to be doing closed captions and audio description. Uh, so if you require those, we're going to have that up by the end of the week. Um, but I'll do my best to describe what's going on as we go through as well. Uh, plenty of puppies in the ball pit at the moment down at my feet. So, Brenda, we're in the enrichment, the puppy enrichment area here out of our yes. guide dog centre. Can you tell us a bit about it? And um, it looks like these puppies are ready to go and explore it. So maybe we'll take them on a tour. To, I should mention, we've got some puppy wranglers here today doing a great job as well. We've got Shaz down here and we've got Tori over on the other side. Tori's been with us only for, for a month or so, so she's landed on her feet here as a puppy wrangler here today, working with puppies live. Anything could happen, so this should be fun. Brenda, <laughs> let's, let's go and have a look at the enrichment area okay. and tell us a little bit about it. Sure. Okay, so obviously we're in the, the ball pit here. Um, this is where we'll start off. Uh, the puppies like to explore the ball pit. Um, it's a bit of a sensory experience for them. They can feel the balls moving around underneath their feet. Um, they love having a play in here. Uh, so we'll move How on. How old are these puppies, Brenda? These this puppies is... are seven and a half weeks old. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So, um, and their mum's name is Vanessa. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's go, puppers. Let's go. <laughs> so, if we come out here. Come on, puppies. Let's go, puppies. Oh, what have you got? Yeah. Yay. Treats. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> so we have some water running over the footpath here. So that gets the puppies used to walking through water. Um, they also love having a play in, um, in this water when it's a warm day like today. Sometimes you'll find them lying down on their tummy. Um, and sometimes they run over and put their head underneath the tap. Um, they love having a play. In, in the water here. Now make sure you listen up with all this info that Brenda's giving out as well because I'm going to do a bit of a quiz at the end for people who are listening 
carefully. So, <laughs> sorry, Brenda, to interrupt. No worries. They're enjoying the water. This is fantastic. Having a, having a bit of a drink from the water. Um, so then we have a, a tunnel here. Um, we encourage the puppies to go through the tunnel. Um, and that gets them used to having things over their head. Uh, we always make sure that they can see the exit so um, they can go backwards and forwards. They're having a great time with the water over there. Well, I think Shaz um, has got one Sharon's to go through the one. tunnel here. I do. How do you think? Do you reckon we can get the camera down this end? We can have a look at the puppy come through. <laughs> Dana, <laughs> our camera person's like, got puppies all around her feet. <laughs> come on. Are you coming? Come on. Bop, 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 bop. Yay. Yay. Come on. Oh, That's terrific. Yay. <laughs> And then we have a little bit of a balance beam here. So we just encourage the puppies to get up on the balance beam. We always start on the low side. That gets them used to having different heights and walking along different heights. We always have someone working with the puppies, making sure it's a safety cage so they um, have a, a positive experience. So I notice you've got up. treats there, Brenda. You're using yep. treats whenever the puppy does something that's um, uh, you know, adventurous or, or good. Yeah. What, what, how does that work? We're rewarding them for making the brave choice. Okay. Um, so then they know that they've done something right. We also use um, toys. And um, we can use our voice to encourage the puppies as well. Okay. A lot of uh, puppies respond to nice high-pitched voice. Yeah. So um, next, we shall move. If you can, you can see here we've got all um, different surfaces. So we encourage Puppy. the puppies hey. to walk over all these Puppy. different surfaces. What's They're doing this? some gardening. <laughs> <laughs> um, this one's adventurous. I think this is Oreo. This is Oreo. This with one. The, I'm quite certain. Hand. Yes, that's yes. Oreo. Oreo. So we've got all these different surfaces under our feet here. Yes. Um, every single section of this walkway, and there's some some wood right down here. Yep. What is the purpose of all these different surfaces that have been put around the enrichment area? So they get used to feeling uh, different surfaces underneath their feet. So yep. then when they get older um, and they become a guide dog, when they go into areas like shopping centres and yep. places like that, it's, you know, a shopping centre that it feels yeah. completely different. So yeah. just to get them used to walking over different surfaces at a really young age. So no, it's part of my job. I, I deal with the older dogs when they're matched with the clients and we can't have a dog coming to a new surface and just stopping and saying, no, I'm not walking on yeah. that bumpy surface. So it's a really important yeah. in the early learning. It's it terrific. Is. Yeah. All right, let's keep so we, going around. The puppy's having a good time in here too. I know it's a lot of fun for them. It is, which it's is a, important. It's a lot of um, a lot of different smells, sights. Um, they love the the, the gardens, <laughs> um, and we have some extra activities set out for them. So we have oh oh, what's this? What's this? We have a. I um, wanted to go check it out. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> So we have a little playhouse. If they get a little bit hot, they can go in there to have a bit of a cool down. Um, they normally peek, them, peek out the windows. Uh, we have a little mirror set up here, so we get Ooh. the puppies to come and have a look at themselves in the mirror. Is that so they can admire how cute they are? Oh, uh, it's to get them <laughs> used to looking and seeing their reflection. Okay. So, you know, when they go out um, and they start training and things like that, if they catch their reflection in, the, in a shop window, things like that, they're not going to be, oh, there I am, they'll, they'll know it's... Um, yeah. They don't get distracted. And there's, this is one of my favourite bits of equipment over in the middle here. This is our uh, our car wash. <laughs> can you tell us about the car wash? The car what the wash. purpose of this is? We've I don't know a... if we can get any of our adventurous puppies to have a look at the car wash today, but I like this one. <laughs> <laughs> so the car wash um, is just oh, like streamers. Um, we stick a, a, a treat and we try and get them to walk through there and that sort of is another sensory... Um, activity for them because the streamers drag along their back. Is them not walking through it but grabbing hold of the ribbons um, with their teeth yes, and just they do ripping that. The, the hell out of the damn thing. So that's quite fun as well. Yeah. Um, all right, let's keep moving through. Yep. Let's keep moving through. So, hey, Brenda, why are we dressed like we're on a medical drama as well? We've got Crocs <laughs> on and we've got these scrubs. Why are we wearing this uh, guess, get up in this enrichment area? So this is just to protect the puppies okay. um, for, the, for their health. So we, we all always wear um, scrubs and crocs in with the puppies until they go out to their um, volunteer puppy raisers' homes. Great. Yeah. All right, next section. Yep, next section. So we have um, over here, there's a little introduction to narrow spaces. So we get the puppies to walk through there. Sometimes the, the rocks, they'll, you know, take them a couple of goes to go through our, walking through the rocks. Oh, great job, Tori. Yes. Awesome. Oh, yeah, look, first that's time. Very, bright. very good. <laughs> Yay. Good job. Good job. The tree. This, this is a Labrador that's not interested in food is a first for everything, hey? <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, There's some having a swim here behind us in the water bowl as well. That's nice. <laughs> oh yes, they're digging in the water bowl as they do. <laughs> So if you're just joining us, um, uh, welcome. Uh, it is National Puppy Day, so we're here out at Glossodia at our training centre. Um, just for another five minutes or so, introducing you to four of our puppies. We've got Oreo, Opal, Maisie and Oak uh, awesome. here today. So four yellow female Labradors. And we're hearing from Brenda, one of our puppy development advisors. Uh, Brenda, awesome. yes. these puppies, as we mentioned, seven and a half weeks old. What's yep. next for these pups after they get out of here? And when do they get out? When do they get out? So uh, they are placed with their puppy, puppy raisers when they're eight weeks old. Yep. Um, and that, that'll be next week, they'll go to their puppy raisers. Um, when their puppy raisers will then look after them, nurture them and give them some basic um, training. Uh, the puppy, ra puppy raisers are supported by our awesome puppy development team. Um, are there and any puppy will... raisers watching today? I'm sure there'd be a few of you out there. Give us a little hello or, um, or a little heart react or something. Also, yeah. if you've got any questions, guys, throw them down in the comments and we'll, we'll answer some questions in a minute if any come through. So please throw those at us now because we're going to wrap up in a few minutes as well. So puppy raising, uh, yes. it's a great thing to do as well. If you're interested in raising one of these puppies, if you're seeing one of these pups today and think I want one of those at home, uh, I think we're going to throw something in the comments now with a bit of a link where you can get more information from that. So what's involved in puppy raising? Puppy raising. So um, as I say, you're supported by our puppy development team who will um, run group training sessions in the area that you live in uh, and also one-on-one -on -one training sessions. So uh, you've got, uh, you have a lot of support um, from our puppy development team. And then uh, when, the, when the dogs are about 12 to 14 months old, they'll come, in to, um, come back into the guide dog training centre for the three-week assessment where guide dog trainers will um, get to know um, some of the dogs before they come in for their formal training, um, which is about 20 weeks. Cool. Um, has there been any questions come through, guys? But I've, I'll ask some questions myself. I said we'd have a quiz. Uh, Type the first answer if you've been listening. You got this right. Who can name at least two of these puppies? Let me know if anyone's been listening and can name a couple of these puppies for us. We'll see if anyone comes up with those answers. How are we looking there, Kiara? Is anyone uh, remembering? Uh, lots of beautiful messages from our puppy raisers, but you might need to remind people about the names of these. Oh, we do oh, need okay. puppy. We, do, we have heard from puppy raisers. I knew you'd be watching. You're always uh, loyal supporters of us. Um, maybe even some people coming to pick these ones up in a week or so. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, we've got Oak. We've got oh, we've got names. What have we got? Carol, oh, Opal awesome. and Oak. Well done. Well done, guys. And how old are these puppies when they go out to their puppy raising families? Anyone listening to that? <laughs> All right. Lots of people typing. We'll say hello. Which one is this? Oh, you'll notice, guys, they've got, there's always bits of um, nail polish on the ears of our puppies. Uh, that's so we can identify them because Really, they all look the same when they're little <laughs> squish pots like this. So we put different coloured uh, uh, markings on them on different ears and record that so we know, ah, that's that puppy. It makes it nice yeah. and easy to identify. Anything come through there, Kiara? People are getting the name. There might be a bit of a lag. All the names are coming through. All right, good stuff. Good work, Julie. Eight weeks age, and that's just in, uh, in another week's time. These guys are yes. going out. Yeah. Look guys, um, I know there'll be lots of questions coming through. If we're gonna be doing a bit of an Instagram uh, story as well, so if you follow us over Ooh. on Instagram, you'll be able to uh, mm -hmm. find out some of the answers to the questions and we'll put some more pictures of the puppies up and all the rest. But if there's nothing else pressing right now, we might just stop talking and leave you with some <laughs> images of these little puppies. I'm gonna put them down here with our puppy wranglers, Tori and Shaz, and we can come and have a close look at our little puppies. They're just beautiful. Thanks so much, Brenda, for Thank taking you. us through today. Um, I hope everybody's enjoyed joining us here this morning to have a look at our puppies out here at Glossodia to celebrate National Puppy Day. So thanks everyone for your support and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, but we'll just leave you with some uh, images of our puppies.
down to where the treats are. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we might uh, start to end our live stream there now. So thanks for joining us today, everyone. Have a great day. Thanks. See you later. <laughs> the Guide Dogs logo appears.